Welcome to The Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to set up your MetaMask wallet with the Apex Decentralized Exchange. And the fact that Apex is a decentralized exchange, you're not actually sending your money to a third party and trusting them to actually send that money back to you when you need it. And the fact that the funds are actually held in a smart contract rather than deposited with a third party, you can cancel that contract at any point in time and your funds will be unlocked back in your MetaMask wallet also with that being said the fact that apex is a decentralized exchange there won't be any kyc requirements like we are now facing with bybit qcoin binance they have all gone to mandatory kyc where apex being a decentralized exchange should not ever have that requirement now it is important to point out that apex is essentially the decentralized exchange of Bybit, which is a centralized exchange. Thus, you're going to see a lot of similar features between Apex and Bybit. And for me, that's actually a benefit because I had become very accustomed to trading over on Bybit. And the fact now that I can use my MetaMask wallet with Apex and not have to trust Bybit to hold my funds has made this a little easier transition for me away from those centralized exchanges. So that's enough jaw jacking. Let's get my MetaMask wallet connected to the Apex Exchange. Now, obviously, the first place you'll need to start is over here at the Apex Exchange website. And I will drop a link in the description down below. And I believe if you use my link, you will actually, once you get everything connected up, receive a small discount on your trading fees. So if you choose to use that link and you end up over here at the homepage for the Apex Exchange, you just need to come over here to launch app, give that a click, and that will bring you over here to the Apex Pro trading app or dashboard. In this case, I'm on a desktop computer. So I'm looking at the trading dashboard. And if you take a look over here to the right hand corner, you can see a button that says connect wallet, or in this case, you can also find the connect wallet button down here. But before we give either one of those buttons a click, you will see right next to the connect wallet button up here in the right hand corner, you'll see Ethereum. These are the actual networks that Apex works with with your MetaMask wallet. And in this case, you can see there's a variety to choose from Ethereum, BNB, Polygon. I would avoid Ethereum personally because there are fees involved with creating smart contracts as far as deposit or withdrawing funds. You're not technically really depositing, but you're creating that smart contract and that does require a fee and Ethereum is going to be extremely expensive. I personally use BNB chain or Polygon. Either one of those are going to have very small fees in order to interact with Apex Pro's platform. And so for today's purposes, I will select BNB chain, give that a click. Now I'm ready to connect my wallet so I can click on connect wallet. And you can see you'll get a variety of different wallets you can connect. You can connect your Coinbase wallet, BitKeep, uh, Trust Wallet. But for my purposes, MetaMask is the wallet I would be using. So I just need to give that a click. And I will obviously need to log into my MetaMask wallet. And now that I have logged into my MetaMask wallet, it is connected to the Apex platform. And you can see my MetaMask wallet address up here in the right hand corner. Now, in order to place any trades, you would obviously need to make a deposit. Again, it's not truly a deposit. You're creating a smart contract within your MetaMask wallet. And if you're curious how you switch between the different networks, you just click on the network button over here and you can select Ethereum or in this case, we're using the Binance Smart Chain. Polygon is going to be an option as well for me because I have funds being held there. Uh, but in this case, obviously, I'm using the Binance Smart Chain. So that's the network I want to be working with. And with that being said, whatever network you select, you want to make sure you have some of their native token, in this case, BNB. If you select the Ethereum network, you want to have some ETH. If you select Polygon, you want to make sure you have some Matic tokens. 
because that is how you're going to pay the fees for interacting with the smart contracts of deposits and withdraws. And so with that being said, you can see I have some BNB tokens held over here in my wallet over on MetaMask. Now, in order to trade, you're going to need some USDC in your wallet as well. And so you will need to deposit some USDC in your wallet in order to trade because the perpetual contracts you're trading over on Apex are BTC USDC perpetual contracts. That's the trading pair. So now you have your MetaMask wallet connected. You've made sure you have the native token in order to pay fees, in this case BNB, and you have some USDC so you can make a deposit. You just simply drop down here to the deposit button, give that a click, select the chain you want to deposit from, and again, you can see a variety of different chains that are available in your MetaMask wallet. We are using BNB, and the asset I want to deposit is USDC. You can select from a variety of different assets, but in reality, USDC is the coin I will need to pair with these perpetual contracts. Then I can select the amount I want to deposit, and so in this case, I will deposit 500 USDC of my available funds, now you will need to enable USDC on Apex Pro. So you just come down here to enable USDC, give that a click. Your MetaMask wallet will open up and want you to set a spending cap. And so I need to set a number for my spending cap. And in this case, I will set that at, let's say 2,500. Now I click next. And then you will see I had to pay a small fee to confirm this and it's three cents. So I click approve, the transaction has been confirmed, and now I can confirm the $500 deposit by clicking confirm deposit. Again, I will have to confirm that with my MetaMask wallet, so there will be a small fee that I have to pay. As you can see, that estimated fee is going to be $0.06, cents, so overall I'm going to have to pay $0.10 cents for this deposit. So now I just click confirm. And as you can see, that deposit is in progress as 500 USDC, and eventually down here under my available margin, that should increase to just over $2,500. Now the deposit's been confirmed, and you can see down here under available margin and total equity is that 2,500, it's actually 2,550 because I had 2,050 in the account previously. And so now my MetaMask wallet is connected to Apex Pro and I have available funds to trade. So the next thing to do is wait for a trading opportunity and pull the trigger. And in the near future, I will create a video on how to actually execute trades over here on Apex Pro. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. And until next time, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.